I want to thank my friend from my birth state of Washington, Fort Lewis, the old Madigan Army Hospital, 1962, a long, long time ago. And thank you for coming to see the Petronova Project in my district, the only viable carbon capture project in the entire world. Thank you on behalf of the Western Caucus for taking the time to see a real solution to real problems. My bride is a girl of Los Angeles, California, Hollywood. This is a big time back home for my Nancy. The Screen Actors Guild, the SAG Awards, happened last weekend. Before that, the Golden Globes and the grand daddy of all is looming, the Oscars, this upcoming weekend. If the success of the ESA was a movie, it would get a 0.0, .0 Rotten Tomatoes score. It'd be a horror story that surpasses Hannibal Lecter, Freddy Krueger, and Jason. It'd be a story of how a misused ESA is a threat to our national security, global freedom, and guarantees more greenhouse gases plaguing our world. This story will be set in West Texas and Southeast New Mexico. It stars an unremarkable creature named the Dunes Sagebrush Lizard, with Best Supporting Actor played by a radical anti-growth environmental activist. Lizard lives on top of the Permian Basin, the most powerful force America's had for peace and clean air in the past two decades. That happened because reemergence of American oil and gas as the number one producer in the entire world. That's because of the hydraulic fracturing revolution that has swept our nation and the world. The Permian Basin is leading the hydraulic fracturing revolution. Experts expect it to produce by itself eight million barrels of oil per day in the next four years. That's up from as high a mere two billion barrels per day just 10 years ago. That means one American shale play will be a bigger producer of oil and gas than every country in the world. That means bigger than Saudi Arabia, bigger than Russia, bigger than OPEC. Two countries emit most of greenhouse gases. They are China and India. Their only natural power source is coal. Right now, as I speak, megatons of American liquefied natural gas coming from the Permian Basin, the Bakken Shale Play in South Dakota, Marcella Shale Play out here out east are going to China and India. Their air will be cleaner because of American energy. It's a win, 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 win. Jobs here in America, exporting technology to our friends for cleaner air and cleaner air in a global context. You would think the environmental groups love this, but sadly, you'd be wrong. For 10 years, people who have never been to the Permian Basin and can't spell Odessa, if I spot them O-D-E-S-S, -S, are pushing actively to have the Dunes Sagebrush lizard, lizard listed as an endangered species. In 2012, they pushed President Barack Obama hard to have that listing. President Obama said, no, it's unnecessary. The locals are taking care of the issue by themselves. President Obama was right. The species is still with us today. But that hasn't stopped these liberals from using the Endangered Species Act to support OPEC and Russian 
Energy. They filed another lawsuit this past summer that's going through the courts. They know by doing that, they hinder growth because people are afraid to invest in a place that may have a pop-up endangered species that is not actually endangered. These groups follow someone from Hollywood who's not a real person. His name is Forrest Gump. His motto is, stupid is as stupid does. Enough of the stupidity. The ESA must focus on species, not political dreams. On my bill, the Listener Reform Act, H.R. 5585, addresses this exact problem. I close, my friend, by saying something we all know. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. I yield back.